Welcome back everyone. Today we're gonna to be working on a couple mosaic Damascus billets. I've taken a couple bars of 15 in 20 and 1084 steel. I've cleaned them up, cut them up, deburred them, and now it's ready to start laying them out for our patterns. Now both of these patterns will be different. One is a feather billet and the other one is a more of an explosion style pattern. But we're gonna get down there to the table and start laying out the steel and I'll show you how we do that and we'll get to forging. So what I've got here is my stack of 1084, two, two stacks, and my two stacks of 15 and 20. I've color coded them red and blue. Now for the feather pattern, I'm just gonna have alternating stack of 15 and 20 and 1084, like that. And for the mosaic pattern, what we're gonna do is just a traditional explosion style pattern. And I just done a quick sketch here. It's nothing pretty, trust me. Um, but as you can see, um, we're gonna be doing a lot of manipulation here. And it's, it's alternating stacks, same way as the feather, except I'm gonna have like a darker end down here. And I think I'm gonna change this up and make it a little more lighter here. This will be the 15 and 20 area and maybe some 1084 above it, but some dark 1084 here. That'll be our darker steel. The 1084 is the, our lighter, I mean the 15 and 20 is our lighter steel. And what I wanna do is have the dark on the bottom and this will end up in the corner as you'll see when we get to the four way point. And this is pretty much how all patterns start out. Some kind of way it's stacked in here to manipulate the pattern to have different colors where you want them. And you only have two colors, of course, unless you put some kind of something with a little higher nickel, but not quite as much as the 15 and 20. You know, you can have a contrast in colors, but basically starts the same way. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna forge this stack down here. Then I'm gonna turn it. 90 degrees and forge it straight down. I'll come into these corners and create C's, somewhat like you see there. And you see our darker stuff is off to one side. Then I will forge this down, create a bar, restack it several times until I get up to a layer count I'm happy with. And we will forge them down, turn it on the bias, forge it flat, and we're gonna push our dark color to one side, our light color to the other, and then we're ready to start our four ways. And we will four way, four way, and four way until we like our density of pattern there. So that's basically how all these patterns, I know a lot of people have trouble visualizing just like I do, but just start off that way and kind of draw it out and you, you can kind of see where it's going. And you know, you, you want to try to have a plan and uh, you know, try to make it come close to that plan as possible. So we're gonna get these stacked and get them tacked up, put a handle on them, get them ready to go in the forge. So I want to stop a minute and talk to you about what I like to do when I forge weld billets like this. After I get it forge welded, which is two or three times, I like to stop what I'm doing, take the billets over, and I grind those tacks that went across the layers. And I get all that out of there, and I also grind out the edges 
all the way around on both sides of the billet to make sure I don't have any coal shuts. And I get to take a look at the forge wells. But this ensures that I don't push any of that tack that went across here into the billet. You know, you can risk it and go ahead and press it and hammer it out, but if you got two or three spots in there that didn't flake off through the uh, scaling process, it'll be in your billet and it'll be all the way through it in every cut. And I just don't want to like to risk it. Now, you don't have to do this, but it's what I like to do. And now I'm ready to go ahead and stick them back in the forge. They're both done. I'm gonna focus on the mosaic billet now. Since I got this forge welded, I can draw it out after I get this one done. All right, I got a billet drawn out and cleaned up real nice and flat, got good square corners, and I've cut it up into four equal pieces. So I did a test etch on each end, and that way I can line up the pattern. And now I'm gonna go ahead and tack it together, forge weld it to create our Ws. Then I will draw it out, and I will do this probably one more time, and then we will make our transition to manipulate our pattern to where we can push that dark in one corner and our light in the other. As you can see here, the pattern, I've got a little bit of weld inclusion on one end there, but that's gonna grind off. It's just in slightly. Uh, I didn't cut quite enough off when I cut the billets, but that's not gonna be a problem. We're gonna get it back in the forge and get these two more steps done, and we'll get ready to do our four-way. All right, now I got the bar drawn out. It's a little over three quarters of an inch, and I've cut it up into four equal pieces. Of course, I cleaned it up. I got good square sides, and I've matched the patterns, did a little test etch to see there. And I know it's hard to see in this video here. It's really hard to bring it out, and it's hard to hold them together and keep everything square, but you can kind of see an idea of what's going on there. Now I'm gonna tack these up, put a handle back on it, get it in the forge, draw it out one more time and repeat the same process. And then we will have our final pattern to where we can draw out to do our tile cuts. So let's see how it goes.
All right, got the billet drawed out, cleaned up, and I did a quick test etch. And I'll put an insert in here where you can see the pattern a little bit. It's really hard to tell when it's this compressed. This pattern is going to be drawn out, as I'm showing here in the insert. And once it does that, then it'll be more revealing. Right now, it's just very tight here on the end, but I have to tile it and flip them and forge weld them back together and draw out the billet. I almost didn't get to finish this billet because I ran out of propane, right? when I was finishing up the thickness and width of it, but we got it. And by the way, I used Dennis Terrell's new Excel spreadsheet to calculate my width, thickness, and I'll use it for my distance between angles. He just posted this, Tyrell Knife Works. I'll leave a link in the description. And it's a free download of an Excel spreadsheet that he made that takes all the guesswork out of it and all the sitting here with a calculator trying to get it right, because I never do, but um, that spreadsheet, is really helpful and I still might screw up, but hopefully we'll be close. Um, that's pretty nice of him to do that. And uh, check it out, it'd be in the description. Tyrell Knife Works. Get that calculator, it's pretty cool. But yes, we gotta go ahead and get it tiled, get the 45s cut and all that. But since I'm out of propane and um, I'm out of time, I need to get a video up. We're gonna cut it right here and pick it up on the next video where we'll finish this billet out. Good bit of work left to do. And maybe start on the knife with it. I haven't decided what I'm gonna do yet. But I wanna thank my patrons and I wanna thank you for watching. And if you like the channel, like what you see, please like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. And we're gonna see you on the next one.